Hi everyone! We are going to compare the sell-through rate of men's and women's used athletic shoes on eBay. I have eight brands to show you. Some are pretty obvious, but others may be new to you. Please note that all listings used for my data are items listed or sold for over $30. I'll also show you how I calculate a percent sell-through rate for this video. Our first brand and most popular brand is Nike. So the market share for Nike is 44% for men's and 23% for women's. So what this means is that of all the used athletic shoe listings over $30 on eBay, 44% of the men's shoes and 23% of the women's shoes were Nike listings. And this is of July 2022. In general, the ideal percent sell-through rate is over 80%. But in reality, most of the brands that I found will fall between 35 to 80%, with a few exceptions, which I will be showing you. The percent sell-through rate for men's was 60% and women's was 26%. What we see here is a very big difference in sales for men's versus women's Nike shoes. I have some examples of sold listings for each, just to give you an idea of the variation in style and price as well. Before I show you the next brand, some of you may be wondering how I calculated the percent sell-through rate. On eBay, I check the number of sold listings over $30 for pre-owned athletic shoes in the men's and women's sections, and I divided that number by the number of current listings in the exact same category. Then I multiplied by 100 to get the percent sell-through rate. I have an example here of how I calculated the men's Nikes, and so there were 161,000 sold and 270,000 listings currently on eBay. Please note that the sold is 90 days. So I did that and I multiplied by 100, I ended up with 59.6 and I rounded to 60. Next up we have a bolo. This is Hookah 1-1. So the market share for this particular shoe isn't very large. For men it's only 0.8% and women it's 1.5%. So there aren't a whole lot of these around. But if we take a look the sell-through rate is through the roof. So we have 176% for men's shoes and 125% for women's shoes. That means that there are more hookahs being sold than there are currently listed on eBay. That is a phenomenal number. And I have here some examples of different hookahs in case you haven't actually found these before. Our third shoe on the list is Brooks. So the market share for Brooks men's is 1.6%, women's is 6.7%. And if we take a look, the sell-through rate for men's is very good. It's 78%. For women's, it's 35%. That's uh, half, roughly. So there is a big disparity here between the sales for men's and women's athletic shoes on Brooks as well. So we're seeing a pattern. Now, I do have examples of men's and women's solds here. And so you can take a look at the bottom. It says $53 for the Brooks Women's Adrenaline GTS. Just be aware that Brooks has several different numbers for their shoes. And so depending on which number or style you find, it may go for more. So in this case, it went for over 50, but others may not be so um, popular. Our next brand is very popular. So the market share here for men's is 16%. For women's, it's 0.66%. It's not very big. But let's take a look at the sell-through rate. So for men's, it's fantastic. 106% um, for men's Jordans. Now for women's, it's 59%. So not that great, but not terrible either. Now, honestly, I would love to make a separate video for you on Jordans alone because there is a lot of variation in prices. So be on the lookout in the future. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that out for you. Our fifth brand on the list is Adidas. So there are 11% for men's on the market share and 6% for women's. And sell-through rate for men's is okay. It's at 67%, but you can see a huge difference here between men's and women's. Women's is only 19%. Um, I did provide examples again um, of women's and men's shoes that sold on eBay currently. And so we have a few of the women's that I found went for good money, but you'd have to be really careful when you're checking the prices or the comps is what resellers say. So just be careful when you're checking the comps for these shoes. All right, we have New Balance and the men's market share is 5%. The women's is actually 8%. So it's a little higher for women's. And sell-through rate for men's is 57%. Not that great, but okay. And then for women's, it's 24%. So again, less than half uh, for women's athletic shoes versus men's. We're seeing this over and over again here. 
our sixth brand up is Asics. So the market share for men's is very small, 2%. For women's, it's a little more, it's 8%. And we can see here that the sell-through rate for men's is 55% and the women's is 22%. So again, overall, men's are selling better than women's. Um, just be aware of the fact that for many of these athletic shoe brands, there are different styles, versions that have names that will determine whether there's a demand for them. So for these, we have at the top here in the middle, we have Asics Kayano. So that is one of the versions of Asics that does really well. It's $59.99 plus $11.75 shipping is the sold. And the same for women. So if you see the bottom right there, we have Asics Gel Kayano, and this is like 20th, 20th anniversary. So these are a specialty shoe, and that's why they went for $49.99 plus $12 shipping. Um, another one to look out for Asics is Nimbus. So if you look in the top right, you can see Asics Men's Gel Nimbus went for $53 um, and free shipping. So it actually sold for a little less than that technically. Um, and then for women's in the bottom left, you can see Asics Nimbus went for $39.99 plus $10 shipping. So depending again on which version of the shoe you have, um, these may actually sell better. So just be aware of that. Up next, we have Reebok. Uh, market share for these, men's is 2%, women's is 3%. This is a very small market share again. And the sell-through rate is not good for either of these. So men's is 35%, women's is 14%. So again, women's is half the sell-through rate of men's, and neither is very good. So when you're looking at Reebok, um, be very cautious. So I have sold some vintage Reebok. So again, this company's been around for a while. At the bottom left, we have one that sold for $30 and $9.45 shipping. And then in the center bottom for women's, I also have the newer version of the Reebok. Um, it has that new logo with the triangle shape. And this one went for $49 and $8 shipping. So these are going to be um, hit or miss on resale value. Our last and final shoe is Puma. So market share for Pumas is 1.6% for men and 2% for women. And has the same sell-through rate as Reebok almost. So for men's is 35%, still not great. And then for women's, it's 12%. So I have examples here again because price range is going to is going to be based on what type of shoe within the brand. So in the top right, I have Puma men's uh, layup high tops. Um, Puma doesn't typically make a lot of high tops that I've seen. Um, so that's maybe why this one went for $60. And then for women's, um, depending on which style it is, it may go for more or less. So again, another brand to be cautious of, even though it's well known, it doesn't mean they resell as well. All right, to sum up, I'm going to show you the percent market share again um, in this graph. So we can see again that M Nike for men's and women's has the highest market share. That means the most listings for used athletic shoes. And the smallest is hookah. And I wanted to remind everyone um, that um, even though I'm showing you the sell-through rate, there are other factors that will determine how well you resell your shoes. Condition is a big one, size is one, demand and rarity. Okay, So a lot of these you're going to see that the more rare they are, meaning their specialty that only had a certain number of productions um, is going to sell better than others. And the demand, how popular is that specific type of shoe, even within the brand for Nike or Jordans. So keep those things in mind. And then finally, I have my big summary chart of all the sell-through rates so you can see them all together. And so we rank them. Hookah is number one for sell-through rate. Jordans is number two. Then Brooks, then Adidas, then Nike, um, then New Balance, and Asics, and Reebok and Puma are at the very bottom. Just be aware that for Adidas, they don't sell as well for women's as they do for Nike. So this ranking is based more on the men's sell-through rate. But for women, it's kind of consistent, just at a lower percentage, except for these two. So Adidas is less than um, Nike, New Balance, and Asics for women's used shoes. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. Again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you have any requests for future videos, thank you for watching.